William and Kate are now the Duke and Duchess of Cornwall and Cambridge, royal couple changed their social media profiles to reflect their new titles following the death of the Queen. Prince William and Kate have updated their social media profiles to reflect their new titles, the Duke and Duchess of Cornwall and Cambridge. As Charles's eldest son, William has inherited the title the Duke of Cornwall upon the death of the Queen. William will, at some stage, be given the title the Prince of Wales, which is traditionally used for the male heir to the throne. The prince, whose father Charles is now King Charles III, was among the senior royals who rushed to Balmoral upon hearing the Queen's health was deteriorating. But this is not automatic and William needs to be created so by his father. The same stands for the Earl of Chester. William has also inherited the Scottish titles the Duke of Rothsay, Earl of Carrick, Baron of Renfrew, Lord of the Isles and Prince and Great Steward of Scotland. The couple also swapped their smiling social media profile photos to their official coats of arms today in a mark of respect to the Queen. The Instagram account also shared the black and white image of the Queen released by the palace today. Meanwhile the royal family's website was updated with a statement this evening. Prince Andrew, Prince Edward, his wife Sophie, and Prince William all flew in from Berkshire via private jet to Aberdeen yesterday as they dashed to Balmoral to see her. But it is understood that they did not reach the estate before she passed. Only her eldest children, Prince Charles and Princess Anne, who were already in Scotland at the time of the monarch's sudden turn for the worse, were able to make it to the royal estate before her death, sources said last night. The Duchess of Cornwall and Cambridge remained in Windsor with her children, who had their first day at their new school. Prince Harry, who was due to attend a charity event with wife Meghan in London last night, also attempted to reach Balmoral in time. But he arrived at 8pm, nearly an hour and a half after the public were informed of the Queen's death. It comes as Britain is today mourning the death of its beloved monarch, Queen Elizabeth II. After a remarkable 70 years on the throne, the country's longest reigning royal yesterday died peacefully, aged 96, at Balmoral in Scotland. Her death sparked an immediate and huge outpouring of emotion, with thousands of heartbroken mourners gathering outside the gates of Buckingham Palace and other royal buildings yesterday evening.